you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that and have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. A pass for negative yardage, obviously no good. Maybe he shouldn't have thrown it, or maybe he shouldn't have caught it. And I think we were seeing it at the same time, weren't we? Maybe you let that one go, right? Because you can see the lost yardage about to develop, but that goes against every instinct of a receiver. They're taught to catch everything, so it's really hard to be mad at him and yell at him for trying to make that play. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. Well, as the play call comes in on third down, you have to think about four down territory here. Down a few touchdowns, they need points, and they need big points. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Hurry up, here we go. Here we go. They'll give it to Chubb, and he's in. Touchdown, Browns. Nick Chubb taking it in from a yard out. And the Browns are back within a score. And there you go. Nothing really too complex. Block, keep to your assignments. Let them run it in. They did it. Fundamental football. Good blocking. Beats good tackling on that play. End result, touchdown. The lead cut to just four as they kick it away and turn things over to their D. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. He's going to be stopped here with a penalty marker on the field. I'm not sure what this is about. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask any part of it that's going to be 15 yards on first and 10 lock over the middle here it's Hilton and he goes down but not before getting this inside the 25 that one goes for 24 yards one of the selling points at the end route is it gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success, as they did on that play. And that is caught! Oh, what a catch at the five-yard line! Another good reception there. The Colts on the march. What a catch, and one-handed, and I'm starting to lose my awe about the play, and maybe I shouldn't. How much of this is the player? How much of it is the glove? Well, those gloves, they do have a little... And we're back now here in Cleveland. It's the Colts. They've got control of the football. They also have the lead as we start the fourth. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Now a toss play. This is Mack. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Partner, when it's a goal-to-go situation, if you're on the field on defense, you have to know that you may be called on to make a tackle at any time. Here, the cornerback does exactly that. Plays the run really well and makes a big play. He'll get it up the middle. And he gets halfway home from the four down to the two-yard line. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. And that one's going to be over everybody in the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. Brandon, some of those windows that throw the football that exist when you're between the 20s, they don't exist when you're this close to the goal line. But as a former DB, I liked it closer to the goal line. Tighter windows made it easier to cover people, actually. Here we go. A big play in a tight game late. They're going on fourth and goal. They'll come out in the pistol. Here's Locke escaping the pressure right. And that is incomplete. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And the Browns are able to come up with a goal line stand. 
Boy, you talk about not playing it safe. Why were they going for it there, Charles? It's got to be a full evaluation of their team. Do they trust their defense in this situation? Maybe they think they've given all they can in this game and they don't have anything left. Do they not trust that the other team's quarterback is just so hot that it, no matter where they get the ball, they go downfield? Remember when Bill Belichick went for it yeah. in that That's game, yep. right, against, against Indianapolis yep. on the road? And everybody said, why'd you go for it there? I think he just thought to himself, on the other side, if they get the ball, they're going downfield anyway. He was trying to end the game right there with his own offense. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And he'll lose yardage on this one back to the 13. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. And you hate to say it with a rookie quarterback. He's done some good things, but overall, looked a little bit overwhelmed back there, hasn't he? He certainly has. But in his defense, he hasn't had a lot of time to throw the football. You like the way I said that? In his defense. In his defense. I got it. Yeah. See what I did there? Yeah. He needs better protection, that's for sure. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. They'll get 19 out of this, but it will still bring up a fourth down. Okay, when the big guy runs a corner route, you're asking a lot, no matter who's covering him. Doesn't matter whether it's a linebacker or a defensive back. Yeah. He usually has the advantage because of his body type. Here we go now. Green, 39. Desperation time. Mayfield on fourth down. And no, it's incomplete. Hugh Jackson rolls the dice, but it doesn't work for him. And the Colts are going to get the football at outstanding field position. Well, they've got the slim deficit, decided to go for it, hoping to keep the football score and erase that deficit. But, boy, deep in their own territory like that? Let's just say that... And the pressure will get to him. He goes down. Now, there is a flag on the play, but this looks like holding on the offense. Holding offense. Kind of surprised they accept the penalty. The only thing that comes to mind for me is they want to move them back five yards because they feel good about their defense. But in most situations, you take the down. <laughs> that, that's, that's what counts more. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Out of the gun, Luck. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. And that's what he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Hey, 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 hey. They'll run it here with Wilkins. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. It's a loss of four. Now third down. And this is why the head coach gets paid the big bucks. Look at where they are in this situation, partner. Do you throw the ball here in a long-distance situation? Do you run it again and trust your defense and make sure you take care of the ball and punt it away? What kind of options do you have here, and what do you trust more? And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Terrence Mitchell. Okay, it's real simple to say from here, but we know that sometimes as a quarterback, you've got to know when to say when and just throw it away. Flushed out to the right, tries to make something out of nothing here, and he winds up floating one downfield. Up, think it's intercepted. Green, 39, green. Following the interception, Mayfield. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off near the 42, and they will set up shop in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. Here's Mack. 
And an alley to run. There he goes inside the 30. And down to the 29-yard line. Indianapolis moving the chains there on a gain of 12. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. This is Wilkins. And he's going to bring this one down to right about the 20-yard line. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. On the carry, it's Wilkins. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Nine yards on the pickup there, and it keeps the drive alive. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And he'll fight his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Now they try the right side here. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Well, that didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. Here's Luck. And that is incomplete. He's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw at any place, anytime, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They snap it to Lock. Flushed out right. And is it a touchdown? No signal. No, they say incomplete. The Colts unable to convert here on fourth down. And this Browns defense stands tall. So that's the second time this game they've given it up on fourth down. They're now one for three on fourth down conversion tries. But they must feel good about what they're doing, right? They continue to go for it on fourth down. Give the defense a lot of credit, though. They've stopped them two out of three times. Usually, you have fourth down plays that you have dialed up and ready to go and you think are going to be successful. Weaving through traffic, and now he's free. 30. And he finally goes down, but not before reaching the 21. A big play there on the catch and run, and even 70 yards. They still got two timeouts. Got to start using them, don't they? You absolutely have to. You save them for this situation, but you have to use them. Back to throw. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. The Browns passing game finding its stride. They've got another first down. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Chubb, and he's across for the touchdown, and it's likely the game winner here in the closing stages. So for those of little faith, guess what? It got done. They now have the lead with that touchdown this late in the contest. I wonder if that was a play they were holding or a play that they just knew would work from past experience. Well, I just saw it in their eyes on the sideline before starting that last drive, and they did. You're right. They got it done. Looks like they're going to be the winners. Now Mayfield. And this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. Short, short kick. One of the up men will take it down. 